Okay, so we're going to be looking at uh, this chart we have here, and um, again, what would we call it? Uh, material. Yeah, it's material. A material, uh, material information. Standing, running. Okay. Running rigging, standing running, rigging, rig. another miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. All items. the way from, uh, you know, handling the guns, uh, the running, which was soft laid uh, hemp. Um, most yeah. of it was soft laid. Yeah, it was all, all soft laid. Some of the standing rigging, rigging is uh, hard laid hemp. Yeah, that's, that's what holds the mast up. Right. right. All three of them. There's more, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, descriptions. Yeah, what do we call it? This is top mast yard. There you go. Somebody was looking for that. Yard whips, grab ropes, lashings, braces. Yeah, tripping lines, downhauls, snorters, uh, whatever that was. Yeah, you know, we have broken down by the number of units, number of pieces, the circumference. Cross legs, circumference. Rope was, rope was measured in circumference then. Is it diameter now? I forget. Yeah, it's I'm diameter the for the most part. Mm. And that's probably the 1926. How'd you like the job of specking out this? Yeah. That's pulling something. together this material. This, what a pain that would have been. Oh. Gee, the crickets. And it's all different lengths. Mm. Somehow you got to figure out you need, uh, you know, the mizzen breast, breast stay. You need 600. Uh, feet. Mm. Okay, why don't we take a walk around here and we will just start here and go clockwise around the room. Um, Probably the best. Okay, you start. You, start you tell me. This is the picture of Bourne Spooner, who was the uh, founder and treasurer. Back then, the treasurer was the uh, highest office in the company. President didn't come along until much later. Um, this shows the spinning of the initial uh, yarns. And this is probably one of the better views of the, uh, the original rope walk when it was located here in Plymouth. So that, uh, how long would that have been from um, one end to the other? That was close to a thousand feet. A thousand feet. That means they could make a thousand foot rope? No, they could make a 700 foot rope. So Shrinkage? No, yeah, you're twisting it together, so something that's... Oh, so the rope a started thousand. a thousand feet long, but when right. it was twisted, it came, the raw material was a thousand. Right. So when it got wrapped and twisted and... That's correct. Okay. There you go. And then we have these semi-colored photos. What are those? Those are again those of uh, the rope walk. The same, the, when it was here? Yep. Okay. Yep. And here they're forming, here they're forming the yarns into what's going to be the strands uh, through a forming block. That the thing looks like a sieve? It is. It's a whole bunch of holes and each uh, yarn is fed through a hole depending on what type of construction you're doing, whether right. they use all the holes or right. uh, just a few of them. Because the common rope was a three-strand rope, right. uh, but they also made four-strand and they made cable laid. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. Cable laid is uh, 
is three ropes twisted together to make a larger rope. So you take three strands to make a rope, yep. then you take three ropes and twist it into a cable construction. Okay. Actually, is that what they're doing there? Uh, what are they doing up there? Those bunch of guys that are. You can't tell from that one. That was a cord rope, though. Cord? Okay. Yeah, you can see the core right here. That's yep. being twisted. Uh, that could be a cable laid. That is, that's how they made larger ropes? Yep. They take smaller well, ropes and lay them together? You could also make very small cable rope. Okay. Uh, we have a, I have a sample at home of a cable that's probably the size of your finger, and yep. then I have the largest one, which is uh, 21 inches in circumference. Mm. There's nothing here that large. Right. Hmm. And this was a model of a uh, of the rope walk built by a, a student at Wentworth Institute back in you know, 2013. Uh, but it gives you a pretty good idea of. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Gives you a pretty good idea. Which is the beginning end of this thing? This is right here. This is the beginning. There's your little spindles with okay. uh, with the yarn on it. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're coming through. I don't know if they've got the former here. They haven't got the former in here. Uh, but that form would come into a, uh, making a strand, and then the strand would come into forming the rope all the length down here. Down and here's the formers. Okay. Uh, had a little spindle here with, in this case, three grooves, mm -hmm. where you twisted the, um, three strands together to make the finished rope. Okay. And then you had to apply a, a twist to the whole rope, and you did an after twist, and up at the other end you did a uh, same type of machine, but going in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. You did a, uh, a four twisting. And of course the key to a rope is you twist the yarn in one direction, you twist the strand in the opposite direction, and you twist the rope in the opposite direction of the strand. That's what gives it the uh, real strength. You wrap it against itself? Yep. Hmm. <coughs> uh, and that gives you a good picture up there of the facilities, probably back in the 1940s. Um. So the building that we're in that has the tower in the center, what which what would this building been used for? Do you recall? This was mill number one. Mill number. This was the first one. Built. They're all called mills. Right. And this was the first one that was built. Right. Yep. This was the number one. Okay. And what did they can build? You put on hold for a minute. Let's get a pointer. Go ahead. And we can point out some of these things. I think she's got it, yeah. Cook them again, she got a laser one. I don't know if it, you getting the reflection or not. No, it's, it'll be fine. Here's the rope walk. Okay, if you can see the, that's the rope walk. Right. That's a thousand foot. And there's um, the head house, which was the head of it. Okay. And then the, Mill number one is this one here. It's where we are? With the tower. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And what was done in mill one? What was done in this building? Everything was done here in the beginning. This was the beginning. So of this building. is, they actually made rope here, but when mm -hmm. they expanded, they, they built the rope walk in the <laughs> right. other buildings. In, in the other buildings. Okay. Correct. All right. Now, in, the, in that picture in the upper right hand side, you've got that long building. It's 90 degrees to the to this one. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. What That's is that one? That's one of the mills. That's a mill. And there's the mill. There's a mill. Okay, so there were three mills. Yeah. This was warehousing, storage of probably fiber or finished product, but uh -huh. the 
fiber would come in at the pier and be transported up to the warehouses. Now that building that's out there now by the, you know, the stack shack is out there in the <clears throat> behind this one here. by the water. Yes, the we stack shack. Yeah, we yeah. think that was a um, water supply for the fire system, fire prevention or fire department system using salt water. Really? Uh, it would be, it sure would be plentiful. It would be plentiful. Mm. Now, what about that other one? Um, I think it's the one that the pier that's extending out into the harbor there. This yeah, one that's the one that's standing now, isn't it? That's standing now. And what was that used for? That's where you brought the uh, steamships in with yeah. the fiber unloaded. Okay. Uh, went into here for inspection. Right. And, it was just storage? Uh, for storage, temporary storage, right. because then it came back out into these warehouses in this area here. Yeah. You know, fiber for this mill would be probably located there. Yeah. Um, finished product might be out here. Mm -hmm. um, this was the tar house where they tarred the fibers. Okay. And that eventually became part of the uh, laboratory that they created. And that was the general offices right there. That's no longer there. This was torn down to uh, build the Walmart building. That's the tar house. Right. Okay. And of course, Walmart left there, went out to uh, to the uh, Colony Place. Mm -hmm. So now we have a big empty area, which is you know being filled with uh, apartment buildings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was Harris Hall, which was the company uh, auditorium, and uh, in the back was the restaurant um, for cottage employees. Mm -hmm. This right here was the Loring Reading Room, which was the library that the company created and eventually turned over to the town of Plymouth. Uh, pretty much. Now, where's that pond? That that store pond. Oh, that's right on here. the other side of uh, that's Court it. Street. Right, here's right? Court Street. Now, where's the pond that's out here now? What, is, what right was there. that? Right there. Hang on. Changed. Hang on a second. It's been right. opened up and. Where was it again? Oh, right there behind. Um, yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that shows up on your yeah, well. thing or not. Do you have everybody an idea of what was... Um, because these were company houses. On the other side 3A. of uh, Courts on 3A? Right. And then further down uh, off the bottom of the picture was Spooner Street. And so a lot of those houses are still there. Yes, they are. Up on uh, North Street, just heading... Yep. Heading up a little bit. Hmm. Fascinating. <coughs> okay. Of course, the, the bigger picture's up here. Here's the, the pier. This one up over here, unloading. Uh, and that's the, the one bales. I was talking about that was jutting out? Right. Okay. Hmm. Moving it to the warehouse. And of course, here's the fiber going in to be combed. Yeah. Um, and the next picture shows the fiber after being combed, yep. uh, carefully laid. Uh, mm -hmm. And were these spools of uh, twine? Is that finished twine? Be the yarn, yarn or twine. Mm -hmm. And these what? would be, these would be representative samples right there in this glass display right. case? Yep. Right there. So, that one there in the back, right. And there's a, you know, just a, an overall variety of uh, the various types of rope and twines that were made. Right. A big part of the business was uh, binder twi twine binder and twine. Uh, bale of twine for doing uh, hay and right. uh, that sort of thing on the international harvester uh, baling right. machines. And they, um, we talked about how good they were with the employees, and they used to have um, they used to have uh, a baseball team. 
Yes. Okay. Because I see a couple of baseball bats down well, there in the corner. A, even a uniform over there's there. There's a uniform over there in the yeah, corner. Right. We can take a, peek, a little bit over there. Looks like something that Ty Cobb might have worn. Yeah. Now, um, there we can see a picture of a... And of course, one of the big Back end of areas. a tug, the stern of a tug. Okay, and the one to the right shows, uh, in the old days, they had to transmit power to various locations. They didn't have uh, electric wires and things like that, so they made a what was called a zero friction transmission rope. Are we talking about down here? Yep. I mean for this um, this last room here. For cordage, for the park here. Right. Well, for anywhere. Oh, I see. Any industry. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if you in the old days you ran a line shaft along the, the ceiling and took the power off to the individual machines, whatever they might be making, hmm. um, but you had to feed that line shaft Now, who are these fine-looking gentlemen? That's Those just part of the employees? Just employees, by the looks of it. Everybody's wearing a hat. Yeah. Of course, this was one of the first engines that they brought in. And you can see the transmission coming off of it. Um, a flywheel would turn here, turning against this. And then this would be fed by transmission ropes like we had up above mm -hmm. here, uh, out to the various factories. All right. And if you, you looked at the floor diagrams and the layout, you can see how they located everything around the central powerhouse. All right. Okay, what do you say we take a break here from that? Yep.